Dice is on the beat. Welcome back to yet again another video. Today we're here with something I've never even seen before. The all new baby AMG. I we'll call it a baby. We'll talk about that in a bit. Mercedes E53. The very first hybrid Mercedes on the market. Boy, it's got some specs to say the least. I can't wait to show you this one. So, let's start off by talking about the engine. It produces more than 400 brake and it also, because of the hybrid engine, the electric engine, you get an extra 200 newton meters of torque, which with the Formatic Plus system is just going to be tearing the world to pieces. <laughs> I literally cannot wait to get in it and see what it's like. On top of that, this one has the optional 20 inch alloy wheels, which gives it that little bit of extra class. It needs that, otherwise the wheels are looking pretty small for a car of this size. We've got the multi-beam LED headlights, which as you'll see when you unlock it, they light up and kind of follow the curves of the lights down into the the curves of the body of the car. We've got the double horizontal grille which shows you the car is an AMG. And if we come around to the side a little bit, you'll see the lines of the car are just absolutely stunning. The typical AMG lines on the bonnet as well. You know, you've got the big loops on there, which gives it a really aggressive look from the outside and the inside actually. When you're driving, you can see those little ridges in the bonnet and you just, you just feel like you're in a powerful, muscular car. It's just Man, I love it so much. I'm so excited, man. I love this car, man. The E-Class is just the one. It is the one. Perfect price, perfect speed, perfect spec. It's a baby S-Class. You don't need to spend over 100,000 pounds for it. Let's carry on. Round to the back where you'll see that it's got the AMG spoiler. You've also got the brand new round exhaust pipes rather than the two or the four square ones. They go for a round option on this. I imagine if they do go for a 63 version of this car, which I don't believe is confirmed, then you'll get the square aggressive exhaust like previous models. That is pretty much it for the outside, but as we all know, if you watched the previous S-Class video and the previous E-Class video on the channel, link in the description, then you know the inside of this car is where it really, really kicks off. So, let's have a look. So you're joining me inside the car. I've got to apologise a little bit if you can hear the extractor fan because it's mad loud and obviously we can't just tell Mercedes to turn off their aircon. It's freezing outside and we don't want the staff to get ill. But we're inside the car. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Oh my god. Look at the lights. <laughs> this is unbelievable. This is why the E-Class is the one, by the way. Because it was the first car to have this level of ambient lighting aside from the S-Class for an affordable price but you know you've got the extra lights around here here all along the huge digital dashboard which also you can still get in an A-Class now which is interesting video coming soon I love these as you know so this one comes with the premium pack that gives you a couple of extras like the memory seats keyless go so keyless entry as well and some other stuff which isn't too important wireless phone charging comes on it as well which is nice bringing it back into 2018 2019 because that's one thing that i kind of regret that my mercedes doesn't have you've got normal sat nav dab radio wi-fi you've got your dynamic control switches so you can go from sport sport plus which will, will firm up the throttle response as well as the steering stiffness it stiffens the suspension as well which is quite good and if you put it in sport plus then the traction control gets turned down a notch which is really really good for drifting which we won't be doing in this video unfortunately because this is a customer's car and i'm not trying to get shut down <laughs> we'll save that for another one hopefully one day if you keep subscribing then i'll be able to buy one and then we'll do some mad things in these cars as this model isn't a full 63 mercedes drivers will find that the suspension is slightly softer which makes driving around town a lot more pleasant part of the e53 amg experience you get the new trim so you get black and red nappa leather you get the red stitching throughout you get red seat belts which are really nice complements the interior obviously we've got the new 2019 steering wheel which features obviously the the touchpad buttons as well as the new scrolling wheels for the volume and all that kind of stuff we've also got the 360 camera on this car 
as well as the driving assistance pack so you'll notice that the red triangles are in the mirror for those of you that don't know driving assistance pack is literally you're driving down the road if someone's in your blind spot you get a little red light just to warn you not to pull out and all that kind of stuff other optional extras for this car you can get the premium plus package which takes the midline sound to Burmester surround sound as well as a panoramic roof panoramic roof would be quite nice because you can see we're having to use the in-car lighting just to lighten up the cabin and obviously if you've got kids I don't know why but kids love it kids love being able to look up and see whatever the sky is showing it's a bit <laughs> odd like, it's not something that bothers me too much but it, I do like the way that like it lightens up the cabin obviously one of the main features that you notice when you turn the car on is the ambient lighting so let's have a play around with that and see if it's any different to the g-wagon from memory it shouldn't be but I believe there's still 64 colors you can choose from so let's have a look at that just, oh, 64. To just 64 you know <laughs> taste the rainbow in it so for that we've got over to vehicle and then we've got light settings then we've got ambient lighting. This would be interesting to see. Yeah, exactly the same as the G-Wagon then. So this must be the new way of Mercedes displaying their ambient lighting options, which I didn't realize, which looks good to me. Again, we can play around with this a little bit better because it's a little bit darker here. So yeah, I'll just turn the brightness up there. So hopefully you can see the lights a little bit better. Yeah, you can literally, you can see that now, can't you? It's looking absolutely amazing. Let's have a look at some other ones. Oops, keep pressing the wrong button. Uh, let's try. Red Moon, how's that looking? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that, man. Especially with the red leather. That is so good, the blue and the red. I think that's the one, that's how it needs to stay. Let's have a look at some other options. I like that they've done this, they didn't do this on the, the previous models. They don't have it in my E-Class either. You know, you kind of just set to the colors that you can have. Here we have the 360 camera, as you can see here, you've got the full 360 this way, but you've got the 180 camera of the rear here. If you use the scroll wheel, you can have a wider display of the rear. You can have the side angles, left and right. You've still got the 360 display here. You've got 180 of the front, and then you've got wide angle of the front as well. All of which are absolutely lovely. This car will park itself, which is pretty standard across the Mercedes range now. If, you, if it's not something you've tried, I encourage you to give it a go, because you will be scared. <laughs> but don't worry, because the car will do it. We'll have to do a quick demonstration video of how the car does it and how to use the parking pilot system because they've changed it quite a lot over the years. But it, it is pretty easy once you know what you're doing. Let's wrap this up by giving you a little taste of what the car sounds like because I know everyone's waiting. I know what you're waiting for. I'm waiting for it too. So let's jump out the car for this last moment and uh, make some noise. look at the new Mercedes E53. We are going to road test these cars as well. You just have to be a bit patient because the roads honestly are treacherous and I'm not trying to write off anyone's car. But we will be back when the weather's a little bit better with just a skirting and tire smoke and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I hope you all have an amazing Christmas. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe. More stuff coming soon. Peace. <laughs>